Princess Piddles took a punch to the face, but today I'm going to put her tooth back. In this episode of Aston1936.com, I'm going to be giving you my three and a half year review of the slip low skid guard that I fitted to the nose of my Aston Martin DB9. Um, so a few years back, I wanted, when I got my car repainted, I wanted to do some additional protection underneath and I fitted a slip low. As you can see, it's had some damage, which I'll cover in a little bit. But let's actually take a, a closer look at the slip low. For those of you that haven't watched that video, it's a series of these um, interlocking pieces. But let's note that there's a logo that's supposed to be here. And then, you know, I fitted it all the way around, you know, the leading edge of the car. And you can see it's still well attached. Um, this one still has its logo. There's a few scuffs though. You can see where I, I've hit it there. And then more scuffs on the bottom here. And then even more scuffs on the bottom at the front nose. So, you know, where I drag it off coming out of my driveway. A complete missing section here that I'll explain in a minute. And the remainder of the damage section here. And it's still doing really well. You know, it's got scuffs all the way to this corner. So short of the damage that's happened to it, um, this thing is hanging on great for three and a half years. So if you haven't already seen my slip low video, again, I don't get any money for talk mentioning it. It was just a solution I fitted to my car. You might want to go check it out and uh, see about fitting one to your car because it's certainly been uh, doing something to save the nose of mine. But what's going on here is I nailed the heck out of a curb. Uh, a little bit of not paying attention tax and I hammered the curb pretty hard, so hard that I actually tore off the, the center section of the slip low, which would have been there, and tore away the section of the second piece to the side here. Now I have PPF film on this part. This is actually scuffing on the PPF, so the paint's actually intact, but the, you know, the clear plastic's been sort of shredded uh, a little bit, so if I get that replaced at some point, uh, that'll get better. But, you know, I'm leaving it because it's taking, these are hits from just other things that are on the road. So um, this is the PPF doing its job. But today I want to talk about now how to repair a damaged piece of slip low. And full disclosure, I've already sort of experimented on how to get this cleaned up under here. And I guess that's a good point. If we come in for a close look right now, if you peel off a piece of slip low, the glue is so good. I mean, here's these sticky pads are still stuck to the, the car. Um, and that's really what's gonna happen if you ever peel one of these off. Now, all of these things were also all the way along here and I've practiced removing them before I started the video today. But you can see the slip low after I got rid of the resin, that took a huge curb hit, the paint's perfect underneath. Um, so it took the shot, uh, not the car. So um, now I wanna actually work on getting this piece replaced. Now, <clears throat> I, I talked to the people at Slip Low and I asked them, well, you know, if you wanna take a piece off, how do you do it? Well, they said you could get like uh, dental floss and slide it along and basically you're trying to slice between the layers of the adhesive, but I am just going to uh, since there's only this one little stretch left, I'm just going to try pulling it off. And there we go. So there's the last of the damaged piece. And with that out of the way, now we have these um, really messy, you know, adhesive pads to get off of here. And uh, I was thinking about a bunch of things, and if we come over and maybe take a look at the tools, I was going to try uh, goof off, uh, you know, some sort of a adhesive remover or goo gone adhesive remover, maybe some alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And uh, full disclosure, I tried them all yesterday getting ready for this, 
and the real solution that the slip low people told me about was gasoline. And I'm going to tell you, these things just smeared the stuff around. This takes it off like instantly. Uh, God loves benzene, I guess. So we're going to be using some, uh, just a little bit of gasoline uh, to do the cleaning. I'm going to use a, just an old shop rag with that and a glove uh, to keep my hand clean. And then I'm going to use the isopropyl alcohol and a, a clean microfiber to actually clean the, the painted surface off with any residue of the gas. And then if you watched my earlier slip low fitting video, we need a fairly strong piece of pair of scissors or tin snips uh, to be able to cut this stuff because it's really rugged. And I'm going to use a Sharpie marker and a T30 Torx to take out one of the screws that's probably in the way. And then, of course, we need some replacement slip low pieces. And when I fitted my kit originally, I had a few pieces left over. Uh, so hopefully uh, you'll have some originals left over from your kit. If you don't, you can always reach out to me. I can mail you a couple. And uh, so we're gonna have a couple of strips of that. And then when you put on the slip low, they suggest using an adhesion, 3M adhesion promoter. They supply that with the kit. So you're gonna see me put this on as well. So let's try and get that goo off. And the technique that I found was to at least get the bulk pieces off. And I did it with nothing more than just using my thumb and trying to roll the thick pieces off. And it, it kind of rolls up. And uh, um, so we're just trying to get the worst of that off. So that's one pad, and uh, we'll go to the fast forward as I get these other four off. All right, with my thumbs a little raw from rolling all that off, it's time to get the last of this sort of surface residue that will be there off. And I'm, I'm going to glove up and I'm going to use the gasoline now. And you'd think, wow, you know, it's still going to be hard. I've taken stickers off before. It takes forever. This stuff, I could not believe how well this works. So the rag's damp now. It's like magic eraser. Now, so the parts in the field, this area, are pretty much coming clean almost instantly. And then the parts along the leading edge where it's a little bit thicker, uh, I'm gonna probably have to hit it twice. So just take your time do whatever you need to do with the gasoline uh, to get rid of the last of the residue. So after a couple of minutes and with a little, you know, attention to detail, you can get it basically this clean again, where it looks just like brand new paint, um, which is fantastic. So next up, I want to use the, uh, I want to make sure I've gotten rid of any of the uh, gasoline residue. So I'm going to give the whole area that I'm going to reapply a spritz with the alco isopropyl alcohol and water solution because I, I want to be sure I have a really good surface for mounting the adhesive to. This is exactly what we did in the original slip low video. And I think in the original video when I put the adhesion promoter on I was wondering geez I wonder if that's really going to wreck my paint underneath. Well, the answer is nope. <laughs> it paints in great shape underneath. That clean now, it's time to reapply the, uh, the trim pieces. Now, I've already gone ahead and custom trimmed uh, the openings to go around the bolt heads. Again, you saw me how to do, know how to do that in my uh, original slip low video, so I'm not going to bore you with it here. But I've done that for both pieces, cut around the bolts. 
So we're gonna go ahead and, and use the adhesion promoter. And this just makes the surface gluier or more sticky that uh, the slip load is gonna mount to. This is definitely wear a glove type material. It's just a little foam thing, applicator. So just give that about 30 seconds to flash off so it's dry to the touch. Um, and then it's time to basically peel the stickers and put them on, or, you know, peel these things and put them on. So uh, and as it was in the original video, you know, you basically work your corners so I'm really working hard to make sure I nail that perfectly. And I'm trying to follow this body line. And with that adhesion promoter, this stuff sticks like instantly. So, and then I'll come back and work that a little harder once I get the second piece in place. All right, so now I want to give every, all of the pads a really good push. And just like that, my baby's got her tooth back. So not very difficult to do a repair of a slip low. Uh, so, so far, three and a half years in, I'm pretty impressed. It's repairable. Um, you can adapt it, keep a few spare pieces around for if you have to do the repair but now I'm hoping this thing can go back to protecting the front lip of the DB9 for another three years. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll have a link down here to my companion blog article where I'll have links to um, the slip low um, so you can buy it at a discounted price if you want. I think they gave me a promo code that it, all of you can use to get it for 10 or 20% off. Up here, you're gonna find the next video in the series, which will probably be my original slip low install video. And here you can find the subscribe button if you want to get automatically notified when the videos like this come out please go ahead and subscribe and as always uh, please go ahead and leave your comments down below i'm interested how your slip low has been doing if you've installed one on your car thanks for watching